Hey everybody, Jake here with another quick and simple trick for you guys. This one comes from a community member named Chuck. A few days ago we released an interview and we sat down with Chuck and I had the privilege to talk to him about two really awesome builds that he's working on. They were full of creative hacks and one of which was this clamp that he found that allows you to put two pieces of conduit parallel to each other just like this. And this is actually made for engine bays. It's used to kind of clamp two hoses together if you have a show car and you want to kind of organize the hoses in an engine bay. But you can get them in various sizes, one of which is listed as 12 AN, but the diameter is really close in diameter to conduit, so it actually allows you to clamp down two pieces of conduit together like so. Now I did run into some issues. I ordered some different ones than the ones that Chuck sent me the link for, which these will be linked down below. I recommend getting this brand, and the reason why is because these other ones that I ordered they were supposed to be the same diameter as the one that worked, but they were just a little too loose. They would slide up and down the conduit even though they were fully tightened. And if you do end up getting some of those, what you can do is grind down the two halves just a little bit like I did here, just enough so whenever you actually secure them on the pipes, they'll stay in place and not slide up and down. Another really simple thing you can do is get some of these friction bands and add them onto the conduit wherever your heart desires, wherever you want to make the connection and then put the clamp over top of the, the heat bands like they are here, and that's, that's another strong solution if you get those. But I definitely recommend getting these that actually work right out of the box. I think they're, they even look better to me. The finish is nicer, and it's aluminum construction. There's just two halves. You can completely disassemble it if you want to clamp over the pipes, which is cool. We like doing that. That's how Maker Pipe works as well. Or you can loosely assemble them. The threads are built into this other half and you can tighten them down and then slide them over the conduit and then secure it. So really cool, little simple trick, really great thing. Like I said, it'll be linked down below. Definitely recommend checking out that interview with Chuck. He had a lot of other hacks where this one came from and really clever uses of ordinary materials like this. So thanks so much everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one.